Hi, and welcome to Four Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, we'll show you how to create a gallery in Notion that is both beautiful and functional. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. So subscribe to 4 Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. One of the fun things you can do in Notion is to create a database that is set up like a gallery or thumbnails like this. And you will see that this is really a powerful one, but it's also a very simple database to create and to use. Now, galleries are great for when you have a collection of things that have pictures connected to it. Three great examples, recipes, where you have a picture of each dish, or books, where you have images from Amazon or some other source of books that you have read or want to read, or movies or TV shows, again, where you can get a thumbnail or a movie poster or an image off the, off the internet uh, for, uh, for that. Now, not all databases, of course, are great candidates for gallery mode. Uh, uh, an action item list or a to-do list is terrible because there's very few of them, if any, are going to have an image connected to it. So image-heavy databases. So let's start by making a new database. And like we always do, we're just going to go down here and click add a page from the left navigation bar. We're going to call this recipes test. Now we're going to, uh, like we always do, backslash uh, and then scroll down. We're going to look in the database section. Here we are in database. We're going to find gallery. When you do gallery, you end up with these tiles. And these tiles are the place where you would add your recipes. Now I've jumped ahead and created a recipes uh, test one, and you can see that here, what I've done is I've added tags, sorry, I've added meal type. So uh, here again, I can do a multi-select so I can have it be lunch, breakfast, brunch, dinner, or snack. I've added a place for a source if I wanna put something like, uh, uh, I've got it off of the Food Network and I want a URL here, or I just wanna put, it's from my mom's uh, histor historic cookbook that she has, and I added a rating. Uh, and, uh, and it's as simple as that. You would add an image here, uh, and just like here, you'd scroll down uh, and look for an image place where you would add an image. Uh, you would then add your ingredients and instructions. Now, in a future video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get your ingredient list to connect to your shopping list, which is pretty awesome and powerful. Uh, for instructions, you're just going to copy and paste it off of the source that you've got. I'll show you a, some good examples. Uh, now, back here to this one that I have fleshed out. I've added a cover, I've added emoji, uh, and I've added a few recipes in here. And you can see that it looks very cool, but underneath it, it is really just a database. And you can see it is just a database. When I go over here and I look at table view, uh, if I need to, I can add a view and just see table view. And I can toggle back and forth between table view and gallery view. The fact that it's a database means that I can sort and filter this in any way that I want to. So here I've got it sorted by rating. So best rating to worst rating. Uh, I can also filter it if I was looking just for meals for dinner, I can add a filter and look for meal type as dinner. So now you know how a gallery works, how to create one, how to add to it, how to sort it, and how to filter it. And in the next video that we do, we're going to give you a way to take your recipe gallery and make it talk to your shopping list. Now, if you've got questions or comments about this or any other aspect of, aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below. And be sure to check out our other 4-Minute Answer videos to help you become a Notion pro quickly. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.